The Old Testament reading is from Ruth for the 17th Sunday after Pentecost. It is from Ruth chapter 1. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. And a man of Bethlehem in Judah went to sojourn in the country of Moab. He and his wife and his two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife Naomi. And the two of his and the names of his two sons were Malon and Kilion. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem and Judah. They went into the country of Moab and remained there. But Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons. These took Moabite wives. The name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other, Ruth. They lived there about ten years, and both Malon and Kilian died, so that the woman was left without her two sons and her husband. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law to return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the fields of Moab that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. So she set out from the place where she was with her two daughters-in-law, and they went on the way to return to the land of Judah. But Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go, return each of you to her mother's house. May the Lord deal kindly with you, as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant that you may find rest, each of you in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voices and wept. And they said to her, No, we will return with you to your people. But Naomi said, Turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Have I yet sons in my womb that they may become your husbands? Turn back, my daughters. Go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, even if I should have a husband this night and should bear sons, would you therefore wait till they were grown? Would you therefore refrain from marrying? No, my daughters, for it is exceedingly bitter to me for your sake that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. Then they lifted up their voices and wept again. And Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. And she said, See, your sister-in-law has gone back to the people and to her gods. Return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not urge me to leave you or to return from following you. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. May the Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts me from you. And when Naomi saw that she was determined to go with her, she said no more. So the two of them went out on until they came to Bethlehem. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <coughs> Today's epistle reading comes from 2 Timothy chapter 2. You then, my child, be strengthened by the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, and trust the faithful man who will be able to teach others also. Share in suffering as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No soldier gets entangled in civilian pursuits, since his aim is to please the one who enlisted him. An athlete is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. It's the hard-working farmer who ought to have the first share of the crops. Think over what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding of everything. Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, and from the David, has preached in my gospel, for which I am suffering, bound with chains as a criminal. But the word of God is not bound, therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect that they also may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is trustworthy, for if we have died with him, we will also live with him. 
If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithful, he remains, I'm sorry, if we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We stand for the Hallelujah and verse and the Holy Gospel. St. Luke, the 17th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, he was met by seven lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his feet, on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Our next hymn focuses on the Old Testament story of Ruth and uh, Naomi and uh, for all the faithful women. Announce for singing verse seven. Uh, yeah, in, the, in the hymnal, it's verse seven is the alternate verse, which is our verse two, I guess. Is that correct? Yeah, seven in the hymnal. Yeah. So and, I was chasing a spider. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's verse seven. Yeah. It, yeah. Verse seven. Seven becomes verse two, the verse about Ruth, if you have the hymnal in front of you. 